you very much. Uh, as uh, Sean said, I'm John Opper. I'm the Executive Director for Distance Learning and Student Services at the Florida Virtual Campus. I'd like to welcome you all to the Florida Virtual Campus Open Educational Resources Summit. Uh, this is the first one we've had, although we've had other meetings here and there about this topic. Uh, but uh, this is the first summit that we've had. Uh, and I'm glad that you could all attend. As you know, we tried to do this in uh, September, and uh, hurricanes got in the way. Uh, we're happy to have you here. The beach is wonderful. So if you're thinking about that, it's just going to rain, so stay here. Um, so we're glad to have you, and we're glad that you could come. Um, the Florida Virtual Campus has been engaged in the conversation about open educational resources and the cost of textbooks for students for well over 10 years. It may not seem like that, but we've had uh, two successive uh, grants from the Fund for the Improvement of Post-Secondary Education. There is a body of research that we conducted no a number of years ago, uh, and we continue to survey students. In fact, we're about to do it again in 2018. Uh, our last survey in 2016, we had 20,000, over 20,000 students respond to the survey. So this issue about textbook costs is something that they are comfortable and want to talk about. Um, so uh, I can think of no better way or reason for us to be here and to explore these issues. Um, um, as we've watched the progress of this issue, it seems like now is a very important moment as we think about open educational resources. Uh, we've noticed uh, around the country a number of new programs, a number of pro pro progressive uh, initiatives in the states. And so we thought that we, this would be the right time to have this meeting. Uh, and we, we were, with the help of Cable Green, who we'll meet in a minute, and others, we were able to find what, who we think are some of the best people in the country right now to inform you on the topic of open educational resources, policy issues around that, implementation of programs, and opportunities for uh, saving students money, and maybe improving learning in the classroom, which is obviously the hope that we have. Um, I think uh, the purpose of the meeting for us is to really try to act as a catalyst, to try to help those of you who are trying to move this forward on your, on your campuses, uh, gather around the issue, get the latest information, and maybe make a difference. And uh, also maybe think, at, uh, and we'll talk tomorrow about, are there some more collaborative ways that we could all work together on this issue if not in Florida externally. And for those of you here from Florida, we're happy to have you, but we also have people from outside of Florida here. So I, I think there'll be a lot of value in not only the conversations that you hear from the speakers, but for those of you in the room who talk among yourselves, there are a lot of interesting folks here from other places, uh, and uh, they have a wealth of experience that I'm happy, I'm sure that they would be happy to share. So uh, a few housekeeping items. Um, obviously, there's a beverage station outside, and we'll try to keep the coffee coming. I know how important it is to some of you, and you know who you are. Um, the instructions for Wi-Fi is on the table, uh, and restrooms are located just outside the door. Feel free to go uh, whenever you need to do that. Uh, I'd like to provide a special thanks to our sponsors. Uh, we could not do this kind of a meeting without their help and assistance, and we think that they bring value in their products and services to the meeting, so we hope that you'll spend some time. They're located around the room on the, on the edge there. Our gold sponsors, Canvas, Lumen, and Unicon. Silver sponsors, Flat World, Intellis Learning, Lyricist, Proctorio, Springer Nature, and EBSCO, and our bronze sponsors, Kaltura, and Springshare. So let's give them a welcome and a hand for sponsoring our meeting.